So here's me on my way to go and have a look at the hangar for the new Cessna 152. Unfortunately, my wife can't make it today because, well, she's got COVID. Well, she got the tail end of COVID. I uh, also had COVID, but now I'm through it. So I'm on my way there now. Pretty exciting. This will be the first solid thing that has been that I've put the money down on other than the deposit on the aircraft, which was um, kind of a requirement. <laughs> Hey there fellow aviation enthusiasts, welcome to the first video with content from Fly by Fly. This will be a short one, we'll take you on a tour, give you some of the specs and the prices and some of the things to know when you're taking on a hangar. While we're driving here on the way to sign a lease, um, let's have a chat about the hangar. It's located at the Tuca Air Airfield, ICAO code is Echo Hotel Tango Echo. It's a share hangar for this one, about four or five other aircraft, including the owner's machine, which he built from plans in about 9,000 hours. The hangar is more than just a space. As I've mentioned before in this video, it's the first tangible commitment to owning our own aircraft. The price reflects not just the size, but the location versus my home base in Utrecht and an assortment of other benefits that come along with the hangar. The first thing to discuss though, of course, is price. For this hangar, you're looking at around 450 euro a month. There's cheaper options available, but there's no ramp parking at this particular airfield. Although for me, ramp parking was never really an option as I've never considered leaving my car sit in the rain, snow, sun, and bird droppings. So I'm not likely to do that with a plane. I think a nice little irony of this journey is that I'm currently in a rental car rather than my own car because, well, we don't have a car. The shared space for the 152 is a new building. It's insulated, has its own toilet, mini kitchen, electric door, and most importantly, there's an espresso machine with a runway not far away. It's about an hour drive from Utrecht behind two maintenance businesses which is quite handy as one of those will be dealing with the registration change from the Croatian registration to the Dutch. Tuga is not a controlled airfield but has someone at the tower basically during daylight hours. It has a hundred low lead and jet A pumps available but I'll be using MoGas as often as I can purely for a pricing scenario and unfortunately there isn't any MoGas at this field which means I'm going to have to invest in some fuel cans. Like many of the fields in Europe there are landing fees. In this case it ranges from €9.45 to €30.25. The higher is on weekends in the peak season which is middle of summer. Toha is in the middle of the Netherlands so it means within a few hundred nautical miles you'll find Germany, Austria, Belgium and the UK and I look forward to exploring all of these with you. I feel like this is a place where I'm going to be spending some time. This hangar is exactly what we were hoping for and I'm looking forward to you joining me on all the adventures. Thanks for tagging along on this whirlwind hangar tour. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're looking forward to seeing more of Europe along with us in our Cesta 152. Behind the scenes glimpses and anything else we can offer you of interest from the flying world. Until the next time, blue skies and tailwinds to you all.